Are you tired of this happening while taming a dire wolf? My name's Stuck or so, and today I'll show you how to tame a dire wolf, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tame dire wolves. First off, let's prepare. The food you're gonna need in order from most effective to least effective. Superior kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, raw prime fish meat, cooked lamb chop, cooked prime meat. I'd recommend using kibble or raw prime meat. It wouldn't hurt to have some cooked prime meat, just in case. You'll need around 95 narcotics per hour during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 50 can take between 15 minutes and one and a quarter hours. A level 100 can take between half an hour and two and a quarter hours. A level 150 between three quarters of an hour and three and a quarter hours. These times are the difference between kibble and raw meat. You also want to have a more abundant food source for the dire wolf to consume when it wakes up. The recipe for superior kibble is one large egg, two citronelle, two rare mushrooms, one prime meat jerky, one sap, five fiber, and one water. Condition the area around the dire wolf. Kill off any creature that could interfere with your taming. You'll need to keep an eye on the one you want to tame while you do this, and if you have tribe mates to help you, they can be defending the area while you start taming. Dire wolves tend to be in at least a pair, but can form a pack of five members. Each member of the pack increases the damage of the pack. The highest level member is the pack leader, whose howl can buff the pack even further. With this first method, you'll want a fairly quick mount you can use weapons from the back of, such as a raptor statted for health and speed with a decent saddle. Kill off any members of the pack you don't want to keep. Once only the ones you want to keep remain, knock them out with your trank ammo of choice. With the next method, you want to find a cliff, large rock, or build a stack of pillars at least four pillars tall with a ladder up one side of it. From here, you can kill off members of the pack you don't want. Once only the ones you want to keep remain, knock them out with your Trank Ammo of choice. For this next method, you want to make a wood box that is 2x2 two two with a ramp up one side and a door out the other. As with the other methods, kill off any members of the pack you don't want to keep, then lure the ones you want to keep into the trap. Once inside, you can knock them out at your leisure. Just be careful not to hit the ones you've already knocked out. If your settings allow for the carrying of wild creatures, you can pick a dire wolf up with an Argentavis. Once you've grabbed the one you want, you can drop it into a pre-prepared taming pen without needing to worry about the rest of its pack. Just be careful here because they can hit your Argentavis. Whichever way you decide to use, pelt the dire wolf with Trank ammo until it's unconscious. Put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory and maintain its torpor so it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Before I get to the neat facts, I'd like to thank everyone who voted in the poll last week. The choices in the poll currently running on the community tab of my channel are Thorny Dragon, Electrophorus, Bezel Buffo, Sabretooth, Tapahara. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. Dire wolves can be ridden without a saddle and do not have a saddle to craft. They appear to have an innate damage reduction to help mitigate the lack of protection a saddle provides. You can use weapons or tools while riding a dire wolf. Their primary attack is a standard bite. The crouch button is an ability which allows the dire wolf to seek out unclaimed explorer notes and hidden creatures. 
Direwolves can also use this ability to track down creatures or players who are severely injured or dead. When multiple direwolves are together, they form a pack. Each pack member contributes a 5% damage bonus to a maximum of 20%. When riding a pack leader and using the secondary attack, the direwolf will howl. Each member of the pack gains an additional 50% damage boost and a 25% damage resistance that lasts for 90 seconds. After using the howl, there's a 180 second cooldown before the buff can be applied again. Direwolves can gather most corpse harvestables at a greater efficiency than metal tools. There's also a spirit form of the direwolf found as a boss in Life's Labyrinth on the Ragnarok map. The boss is, of course, untamable. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves... A very good day.